All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So us global players have been through a lot over the past couple of weeks. I mean, let's be honest, the game has just been so, so dead. And as a content creator for this game, it's been kind of tough to come up with ideas for videos. But you know what, that's all in the past and I'm happy to say that content has once again returned to the global side of the game in the form of the Goku slash Gohan slash Goten Day Celebration. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking down everything this celebration has to offer us. So uh, let's just jump into the news here and see what's going on. So as you can see, it's the first part of the Gohan, Goku, and Goten Day Celebration. So there's going to be at least two parts, possibly three, most likely two though. Anyways, let's jump in. To the first portion here it says various events are here new ssr super saiyan 2 goku angel and super saiyan 2 vegeta will show up in the dual tokan festival you guys know about that if you've been watching the videos of course and it says recruit the two powerful super saiyans to your team in addition to luxurious login bonuses a new story event a new dokkan event and a new extreme z battle will also be available during the event period it doesn't say anything about a world tournament. I was kind of hoping for one. I mean, usually I hate them, but it's been a minute since we got one, right? So I kind of actually wanted to grind one, but it's okay. It's all good. Maybe part two will bring that world tournament. Who knows? So the first thing here is a login bonus. Pretty standard stuff. And uh, oh, we're getting 5 plus 10, 5 plus 9, and 5 plus 10 dragon stones. I think this was something we had last year too. So it's basically 13 stones for, I guess, today or tomorrow be tomorrow right and then uh, 14 stones and then 15 stones for it's gohan goku and go day respectively right so that's a pretty decent login bonus right there of course after that i guess it's gonna be one stone a day or something like that which is fine but pretty solid login bonus right there for the first three days and then we have some missions we'll check that check those out in a second and of course dragon stone sale please please be good all right because i need these stones uh, i don't know if you guys saw it at the beginning of this video but I have zero stones right now. It's a long story. I should go check out my previous video to understand why that is. But please, I gotta summon tonight when the banners drop. Please be good sales. Okay, okay, so 12 stones. Oh, they suck. Oh, actually, you know what? We have the 77 stone pack. Okay, so it's 12 stones one time, 50% off. Okay, whatever. 32 stones, 50% off once only though. That's kind of rough. Once only. I wish it was like three or four times, but... Okay, that's fine. And the 91 stones, of course, 20% off, five times only. But we do have the 77 stone packs um, twice, and those are usually, I think, at least in Canadian prices, about $30. So it's a decent deal for US customers or US players, probably around 20 bucks. Um, so those are good. I mean, it's not the best sale I've seen, but I'll take it at this point, all right? I'll probably pick up like three to 400 stones for the stream. So I'll make sure you guys tune into that, all right, when it happens. And of course, we have the Dokkan Festival for the Goku and the Vegeta. And uh, we also have a ticket summon. So of course, we all got those free tickets for doing missions and logging in. But we'll also be getting tickets for doing summons on the banners themselves. And then you, you can use those tickets to summon, of course, on the ticket banners. Um, doesn't really reveal anything else, of course, about the featured units. I assume that's going to be pretty much exactly the same as the JP banners, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. We'll find out soon enough. Okay, of course we have the, uh, what do you call it, the, the Elder Kai banner. It's a thing that every single celebration seems to have these days. And next up we have the Destin Showdown packs. I assume this is where we're going to be able to get the premium summon tickets for, you know, the Dokkan Fest A and Dokkan Fest B. And these are the tickets I talked about in my Tata download video earlier today, and I'm pretty sure there are these tickets that will give you a guaranteed featured unit for doing a multi, but of course, they're going to be available in the Pilafs Trove, so you will have to buy them with money as opposed to, you know, getting them from summons or anything like that. And uh, of course, they are better than your regular tickets from the summons, but I mean, I'm not surprised they're doing this. I know some people are going to complain, but uh, it's kind of been a thing that Dokkan's been doing with Global for a while now, right, as far as the Pilafs Trove goes. So I probably will pick those up depending on the price, we'll see. And uh, we have the Book of War Sun Family in the Baba Shop. So basically we get these uh, Book of War items 
are going to be exchanged for one of these characters, I guess. Maybe there's more, but I assume it's just these three. The family Kamehameha characters, the EZA characters. Um, they're solid. They're solid units. If you guys are still missing them or missing dupes, uh, I'm pretty sure you can get these for free, right? So there's no negative, I guess. For me personally, they're all rainbowed, so I guess they can be like super attack fodder. Something like that. We'll see. And next up, we have the Zokan event for the Majin Vegeta and the Zokan event for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. And uh, also the new story event, the World Tournament Reborn with the free-to-play uh, in Saiyaman, as well as the Yamu and Spopovich. And both of these characters are actually really interesting, uh, especially to me, the Yamu and Spopovich, because they have a attack buff that like stacks infinitely for forever. And they also actually get plus two key every single time too. So uh, they can get up to like, well, in theory, <laughs> they can get up to 10,000% attack, of course. You'll never reach that, but uh, I do want to do some tests with that unit, so I'll probably farm them out as soon as possible, probably tomorrow at some point. And uh, we have two new stages for the Infinite Dragon Ball History event, the Goku's Family stage and the Vegeta's Family stage. If you guys are curious about what the stages look like, what the enemies look like, what they do, and all that stuff, as far as the, and also the rewards for each of the stages, then make sure to check out my video from yesterday. I'll probably put a link somewhere above my head over there, so go check it out after this video. And uh, we also have some new missions for the Legendary Goku event. Now, I haven't seen what the actual uh, categories, I guess, or what the actual missions look like. Uh, maybe they're out there somewhere, but I just haven't seen them yet. So uh, all I can tell you right now is that we're getting new missions. And the good thing is I'm uh, finally almost done the previous missions, the previous batch of category missions. So uh, I should be ready for these when they drop. Actually, they're dropping today. Okay, cool. So, uh, <laughs> I'll work on this. I'll work on this when it happens, and uh, I'll find out what the missions are soon enough, right, when it happens. And next up, we have the 19th Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, or Dokkan Battlefield. Um, so, once again, a new Jiren. I'm not really sure what type he is this time, but I'm sure he's going to be pretty tough, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get through it. I'm going to stream it uh, maybe tomorrow, too. There's a lot of stuff to stream, actually. There's, like, a lot of content to... Uh, to actually go through so I might do like separate streams or just like one big stream I'll think about it I'll think about it but first before we get to those streams I will be streaming my summons all right just a quick reminder so make sure you guys are there for that and what else is here um ultimate clash a uh, few events returning the Goku Jr. event yeah the Goku Jr. as well as the uh radish event and also we have a bunch of Dokkan events that are available the entire time, um, as well as Eternal Rival Summons. Okay, so it's the uh, banner for the Majin Vegeta, the, um, not the summonable, not the Dokkan Fest one, but the STR Majin Vegeta, as well as the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. And both of these guys are getting Dokkan, or not Dokkan Awakenings, Extreme Z Awakenings soon. And they're really, really good Extreme Z Awakenings. And we also have the return of the STR banner, which of course means that the Kaba and the Hit are both getting their token awakenings as well. We just got the AGL Pan and Meta Rildo, but now we're also getting the Hit and uh, Kaba Extreme Z Awakening. So why do you keep mixing, mixing the token awakening and Extreme Z Awakening? They're getting token awakenings. These guys are getting Extreme Z Awakenings. My bad, my bad, okay. And here, of course, is the Extreme Z Battle event coming out on May 14th or May 15th in the morning for me. So in about a week from now. And uh, what else is here? Okay, so Super Saiyan 2 Goku can be Extreme Z Awakened. Oh yeah, so there's going to be three Gokus that are getting Extreme Z Awakenings as well. Three fairly old ones. Um, I think it's the Tech one, the Fizz one, and the AGL one. Or maybe different types. I don't remember which ones exactly, but like... There are three Gokus getting Extreme Z Awakenings too, from the uh, Hero Extermination Plan Extreme Z area. I'll be honest, I haven't worked on any of those units because they just don't really do it for me. But uh, there you go, that's also that's also happening at the same time as this uh, Extreme Z battle. And we also have the return of a few other story events here, the uh, Broly event, the Wrath of the Dragon event, the Lord Slug event, and also the Universe 6 story event is coming back, and also the... Um, the Universe Survival Saga story event 2. And also training rates tripled, uh, rank EXP tripled, a good time for you guys who are lower rank or just looking to get your rank higher. 
to, you know, farm some rank XP, just do the highest stage in story mode, 27-3, and uh, you should be getting a good amount of rank XP, all right? So those are the main things I can see here. Not a... You know what? It's, it's not a bad celebration. There's like a lot of new content. Um, nothing that like really blows me away too much. I am, of course, excited for the two new characters from the banner. And uh, also, you know, I think the new Battlefield, the uh, Infant Dragon Ball History stages, the new Fighting Legend Goku or Legendary Goku event uh, missions will keep us busy for a while. And let's see what else is here. Uh, okay, so we have some login bonus or a login bonus. So, oh, we're getting the three Book of Wars today as well as, uh, so 13 stones today for Gohan day, and then 14 for Goku day, and then uh, 15 for Goten day on the 9th. And then every other day is just one stone which a few, with a few other things. So pretty standard login bonus after the first three days, but in the first three days, we're getting something like 40-ish stones, right? 42? 40, I don't care, 40 something stones, right? Okay, so <laughs> that's the login bonus. And they also have some special missions. Part one of the missions. It's one stone per day, of course, for the daily missions. And then we're getting, how many stones for limited? Only, looks like one and three for completing all the missions. So not that many stones. Hopefully the part two missions are better. Um, okay, yeah, all right, there's the missions right there. And then we also have the Book of War thing, like I said. Oh, actually, there's more than just the three EZA units. Actually, no, they, they all have EZAs, but it's um, seven units you can choose from here. So, honestly, I would say the best one here... I mean, Goten's actually really useful for his orb changing. But uh, there's also the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, who hits pretty freaking hard. And... Yeah, I mean, they're all decent. They're all decent. None of them are, like, crazy good, but they're all decent units, so you can't really go wrong with any of them. And uh, you do get three uh, choices for which ones you want to pick, right? And what else do we have here? Oh, uh, looks like that's it. Okay, so that's it, guys. That is part one of the Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day celebration. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these new things you guys are the most excited for. Personally, of course, for me, it's got to be the banners, and uh, I will be live as soon as the banners drop in probably like f six hours from now or so. You'll see the, the schedule on YouTube, so just go by that. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. That is today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited for some content finally returning to global. And as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.